CPS suspended two security guards last month. Both were previously fired police officers and on the Chicago's do not hire list. Well, how can you be suspended if you are already on the do not hire list? How does that work? Let's get into it. At least two Chicago public school security guards, both former police for Chicago, uh, who have been fired by the department were suspended. One man who has been working as security guard at Lane Technical High School since 2021 was terminated in 2019 by the Chicago Police Department following allegations of sexual misconduct with a minor record show. Okay. The other is Kenwood Academy security guard who the police department oust in 2019. 12 because of a string of domestic violence incidents according to cpd disciplinary files he was also suspended on september 11th a senior cps official confirmed that there are no misconduct allegations involving students connected to either of the individuals okay both were on the city of Chicago do not hire list, a uh -oh. group of at least three former CPD employees with a destination uh, working at CPS security job. The district overhauled its hiring process in 2018 following a series by the Chicago Tribune, which identified pervasive sexual misconduct by district employees. Now let's get into the first dude, okay? His name is Darius Alexander. He's 50 years old. Was a Chicago police officer from 2006 to 2019. He was terminated by the department following his involvement in a case in which he was found to have asked for sexual favors from an underage girl involved in an earlier arrest. Now, you know in you May 2012, that. documents indicated that Alexander and his partner stopped a vehicle after witnessing a hand-to-hand -hand drug transaction in the Austin neighborhood. Okay, two adult men were charged with drug offenses and Alexander took the two young women who had also been in the vehicle from Crystal Lake to the police station in Austin. Yeah, the girl testified during an administrative hearing that Alexander offered to help get her mother's car out of the impound. Okay. Alexander knew the girl's age because he had access to her identification at the time, in addition to her young appearance. So he knew this girl was not 18 years old. Okay but he didn't care. Alexander kept no official records of his interaction with the two young women. So he didn't write like, okay, you know, we got them in custody. Da -ra. Why would you not do that? Um... But he began texting the then 17 year old soon after meeting her. Investigators estimate he sent 47 texts and calls the day after Bruh. the arrest. Alexander met the woman in person with a conversation that included talking about Miss Doe's sexual boundaries and her, um, you know, Jane Doe. That's what Miss Doe is. Talking about Miss Doe's sexual boundaries and her experiences with X, as well as discussing what Miss Doe would do in order to secure his help getting her mother's car back. So, in order for me to help you get your mother's car back, I'm assuming this was when. You know, the two dudes got arrested and the two girls got arrested. Um, so in order for you to get a bag, you got to do something for me. Records show Alexander deleted text message from him on her phone. The, un the unidentified girl secretly recorded a conversation with Alexander. It took six years for the disciplinary case to reach the police board. And then he was placed on the do not hire list. Why is it taking so long for this stuff to happen? Shouldn't that be like almost an immediate thing? Like, yo, you can't do that. Right. Uh-uh, suspend it. You can't do that. What? And underage. CPS said the district did not have access to the do not hire list, though the district is run by the city. Somebody Versions of the document are also available online. CPS confirmed Alex Alexander was currently suspended without pay following his predisciplinary hearing on September 20th. The district emphasized there is no police presence in the building at that school now we're going to get into the second dude okay so we have the sexual misconduct and then we have the um uh, domestic violence carlos Lattimore, 54 years old has worked for cps as a security guard and wrestling coach at kenwood 
Academy following his termination from the police, uh, Chicago Police Department 2012. Records confirm he was suspended with his pay this September and Lattimore then said it has now been suspended. Lattimore was fired from his police officer job after the department's investigation determined he hit his girlfriend with a closed um. fist and violated an order of protection. Before his termination, he was stripped of his police powers in order to attend anger management classes. At the time, Lattimore, so you don't get jail time for that. So you just, you don't get the police stuff, you know, you, you, your privileges are revoked and anger management. I mean, that's what you need. No, no, uh, prison, no, uh, jail time, community service. Let's no? continue. Okay. At that time, Lattimore was dating another woman whom he later married. The records show he was ordered not to contact the girlfriend in the domestic violence cases. Records show his girlfriend was bleeding from her nose and mouth when she was interviewed by the police. He pleaded guilty to violating order of protection in order to have the domestic battery charge dismissed in the case that led to his termination. Wow. A hot, hot mess. And then the district, which is run by the city, says, well, I mean, we don't have record of, you know, whoever's on the do not hire list. I mean, we, how would we know? Aren't y'all ran by the city? How do you, how do you not have that? Shouldn't you have that kind of information? You know, so it's a whole hot mess. Luckily, nothing happened with these kids, but fool, y'all weren't supposed to be up in there uh-uh uh-uh okay yeah y'all didn't y'all got suspended without pay but y'all should be in jail or something for violating you know laws and 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 then get some you know sue the school or something you know y'all hiring them and y'all still applying for these jobs because you knew it would get through wow let me know what y'all think down below hey if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below I would also appreciate it if you could go on ebay.com, simply type in Latrice Limited, click on shops, and then you can support me right over there. I have a wide variety of items over there. I have many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, which has candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, lingerie robes. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I even have comic books on there, men's ties, action figures, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Definitely support me on there. Like I said, do not forget to like and subscribe, and thank you.